In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five steps infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will come the first option, a big option number one I've put here with the shadow effect. You can add the detailed text and the icon. And then when I click, it comes the second option with some different color combination. Then the third option, fourth option, and the fifth option. I have created two slides, one with animation, another without animation. So depending on your requirement, you can choose the slide from. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as uh, share and like my channel. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you want to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle at the bottom of the slide. You can see here, this my size, shape outline, make it no outline and the height you make it 1.5 and the uh, width you can make it maybe uh, 8 or later on we can change also, not a problem. And then I'm just going to duplicate this, press Ctrl D to duplicate, give some other color and then exactly put it on top of this or oh, now this one i'm going to make it maybe 6.5 or maybe i'm just going to make it uh, 7 you can see here press ctrl d and then this one i'm going to make it 6 and i'm going to change the color to some other color and just put it exactly on top of that again ctrl d so this one will be 5 and let me just change some other color and the last one i'm just going to make it some other color and this one will be four so just put it here so you can see here one two three four five we have added the rectangles the next thing is i'm just going to cut it uh, from the right so go to insert shapes and i'm going to select the right triangle draw the right triangle shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any color and then i'm just going to rotate it horizontal and i'm going to make it vertical you can see here and then i'm just going to copy down and press ctrl d you can see here so likewise just you need to just uh, put it down each for each option and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this and this right triangle go to format merge shape and subtract so again i'm just selecting this one and subtract so you have to just do one by one for each option you can see here like this so we end up getting a shape something like this and make sure that it is properly aligned also now let's add some shadow effect i'm going to select this go to format shape then go to the effects under shadow i'm going to select this one uh, which is the offset bottom right and uh, the transparency you reduce the transparency increase the size you can see here just increase the size and make it more blur something like this okay and then i'm just going to select this double click the format painter and then i'm just going to copy to all the options and then i'm going to select each one and send to back starting from the bottom one you can see here just uh, or sorry start from the top just send to back this one send to back again you have to do it one by one send to back and then last one send to back now once we have done this one it's time to add the options to the right for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any color or i can just use the same thing and then i can just simply give the same effect you can see here something like this let me just give for the time being some different color and then instead of this one i'm just going to make it a uh, right side all right and increase the this one and increase the size all right and blur also i'm just going to increase it and then just send this to back you can see here then press ctrl d select the second one send to back so like that i'm just going to copy one by one and sending this to back you can see here send this to back all right now i'm just going to select all these options towards the 
uh, left and make the color as white and here i'm going to give each different color you can see here this one i'm going to give this and then i can give this color and i'm going to give maybe this then i'm going to choose this color and the last i'm going to get give a light green color so you can see here with this uh, we have uh, designed this part now it's time to add the text go to insert text box and type one here center align make it the same color and make it bold i'm going to choose the font roboto or any other font of your choice you can choose it and increase the size and then i'm just going to put one here press ctrl d so for each option i'm going to add the text you can see here then this will be two three four and five and if you want you can just further move this side also and then just arrange it properly and then based on the colors i'm just going to change the based on the this font color also i'm going to change it you can see here the last one is this one and if you want to just give some shadow effect also select all this one and click on the shadow effect so you got the shadow effect and you can add the detail text towards the right side so let me just go to insert again text box and i'm going to type equals lorem within brackets one make the font as white reduce the font size maybe to 12 you can see here and then just put it here press ctrl d to duplicate and just add one by one you can see here something like this and if you're using the latest version you can go to insert icons you can add the icons also this side so once this is done you can add the simple animation effect like fly in effect to this